One of the most welcome sights at Clyde Muirshield Regional Park is the beautiful, soaring hen harrier. However, it's a far cry from the dark days of last century when these magnificent raptors became all but extinct due to persecution. Thanks to public support and the efforts of many volunteers, the sighting of them today is becoming more common. What's less well known is that it's due in no small measure to the regeneration and preservation of the montane scrub. A large part of the park is now a special protection area uh, for hen harriers uh, and part of the aim of the, uh, the, the scrub juniper area that we're, we're uh, trying to maintain uh, is to encourage the hen harriers within that uh, so that it can be used potentially for, for breeding hen harriers in the deeper heather uh, but also for, uh, as habitat for, for voles that, uh, that uh, the, the hen harriers prey on. In the park, this is a rare specimen. There are only six juniper in 108 square miles. And because each of them is isolated, it's difficult for them to pollinate. So in Clyde Muir Shield, the juniper is the focus of the Action for Mountain Woodlands project. Well, hopefully through a, a process of taking cuttings and reintroduction of juniper to this particular area, well, then we can, we can bulk the numbers up and hopefully then we'll get some proper natural reproduction. Right, this is one of the juniper that we've established from cuttings uh, within the, uh, the park. Uh, we took out a five centimetre, uh, roughly about that size, a five centimetre cutting from the juniper uh, and then we uh, put it into a, a uh, in, in soil within a polytunnel uh, and the, the, uh, it's then sprayed on a, a regular basis uh, by a sprinkler system and this moisture and the, sort of the warmth in the polytunnel helps it to sort of establish uh, fairly and grow fairly quickly uh, and after a couple of years we've got something that we can put out onto the, the ground on the hill uh, and then they, they perhaps grow a little bit slower after that uh, so this is another couple of years growth that this plant's had uh, and you can still see it's, it's relatively small uh, and then we, we establish uh, uh, a small uh, plastic cover uh, for it uh, so that it's out of the main, main elements and can't be eaten by, by rabbits. The area that we're, we've fenced off is about 17 hectares and the aim is to try and get juniper back up to about a thousand. Instead of just having one plant species, perhaps heather, uh, we have a, a range of species. The adaption and survival of any species, be it plant or animal in a continent, country or specific region, is dependent on many factors, but a reliable food source is key. And in particular around the Mewshill area we've been removing things like Sitka spruce uh, and rhododendron so that we create a variety of different species that's important for lots of different types of birds and plants. We're going to get some willow in and we're also going to put in some aspen uh, and there will also be recovery from other trees that are there already, such as the, uh, some of the goat willow and some uh, rowan. Today, with a range of countryside programmes on television, it's easy to just be an armchair wildlife watcher. But if you want to see raptors in the raw, those fabulous hen harriers, then get down to Clyde Muir Shield Park and find out for yourself how the montane plants are benefiting the birds. Both the, the hen harriers and things like the juniper we do uh, inform pupils especially about. So schools will come up to here, they'll be given information uh, by the, the ranger service on the things in particular like the hen harrier which we have a closed circuit TV on the, the nest site so they can see the eggs, they can see the, the chicks growing up. The work with uh, Action for Mountain Woodlands has, has really been quite crucial to the support of, of our projects uh, by helping us uh, to be part of something that's a bit bigger and it's been very, very good for us.